Today, I'm gonna show you how to brighten or darken your face in Adobe Premiere Pro. There's a few ways to do this, but I've found a way that's pretty easy to learn. It really doesn't matter how well I manage to light a scene, I usually end up using this effect in just about every project I make. So without further ado, let's get started. Cineguac. So as you can see, I have this clip right here of my girlfriend, Victoria, in a short horror film we made a few weeks ago. Her face is a little on the dark side, so let's go ahead and brighten it up. First thing we want to do is drag our clip to the timeline. Then, let's hold down the Alt or Option key, click and drag a duplicate clip to the layer right above. So now we have two identical clips right on top of each other. Let's just click and select the top layer, and then move on over to the Effect Control panel. Let's move down to where it says Opacity, and click on this Create Ellipse Mask button. The moment we do that, you'll see this blue circle appear in the center of your playback monitor. And what we want to do is just pull the side so that it fits around the shape of her face. We can even rotate this a bit if we have to. Grab the center, reposition, and that looks pretty good. Once we're done, let's head back over to the mask we just created and increase the feather value to, let's start with 220. Then, with your playhead at the very beginning of your clip, go ahead and click on this Track Selected Mask Forward button. Now your computer will automatically track the movement of your face, and when it's done, you'll see we now have all these little tiny keyframes right here. And if we just drag the playhead back and forth, you'll see the blue circle perfectly tracks the motion of her face. So now that we've isolated her face from the rest of the frame, we can head over to the Color workspace. I have the Lumetri Scopes panel open, just so I can see what I'm doing. And if we go over here, we can play around with the shadows, and you'll see only her face is being brightened or darkened. We can also adjust the whites until it looks perfect. Now, since we've isolated her face from the rest of the frame, we can also go ahead and select the bottom layer, which will then allow us to toggle the shadows and brighten or darken the background. We can also play around with color in case you want to warm up or cool down the subject's face or the background of your clip. If you discover the mask ever becomes a bit too obvious, we can select our top layer and go back to our mask options in effect controls and just increase the mask feather value until it's no longer noticeable. Let's just play that all back, and there you have it. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. As always, these tutorials take a long time to make, so show me some love, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time.